day one, they turn around, they meet each other, and then they've got to grow their relationship from there. And they obviously meet experts each week to try to fix whatever problems they may have. Yeah. And I mean, if they were experts, there would be no problems. But I mean, this is social media. If that- they were experts as well, I feel like they would all happily be married. Yeah. <laughs> um, one of them definitely isn't married and they're quite happily single. So <laughs> how much of an expert really are you is in this that, relationship is space? That true? Yeah, well, yeah. I would without because a if doubt you could call them out and be Dude, like, that's what I'm saying. And that is prime TV, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, it is Mario Kai with Two Eyes. We're back on every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 7 a.m. on Spotify and 4.30 p.m. on YouTube. Married at First Sight contestants, they're not doing too well in the socials. Not this season, no. That's the whole point of your Survivor, big brother. You want to get out. You want to get those teeth-whitening promotions. You really do. You want to be a social media influencer. You do. You do. That's the whole goal. That is the aim them. goal. Maybe not some of the contestants on Survivor. I feel like there's some true... I feel um, like there are ones that actually do enjoy what they do with their life. Like, they're not about... Like, yeah. I actually don't want the fame. And Survivor seems like a really fun game to, like, try to win. Yeah, uh, I completely agree with you. The big brother and maths, you are... You are yeah, you're Strong going to love. become you a personality. Are, yeah, 100%. I would say about 90% of maths contestants are going on because they just want to grow their social media. Well, and platforms. truly, dude. So um, Married at First Sight, obviously the whole premise of the show is two people who are getting matched up because they're meant to be connected. Um, they get married. Day one, they turn around, they meet each other, and then they've got to grow their relationship from there. And they obviously meet experts each week to try to fix whatever problems they may have. Yeah. And I mean, if they were experts, there would be no problems. But I mean, this is social media. If that- they were experts as well, I feel like they would all happily be married. Yeah. <laughs> um, one of them definitely isn't married and they're quite happily single. So <laughs> how much of an expert really are you is in this that, relationship is that space? true? Yeah, well, yeah. I would without because a if doubt you could call them out and be Dude, like, that's what I'm saying. And that is prime TV, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> one of them surely got to go, wait, so just, just quickly right now. If... If one of you is calling me out, right? If one of you is saying to me that I have a bad relationship, yet you don't have a loving relationship, what are you talking about? If I was to go and order fish and chips, would I would I go to someone who has never made fish and chips in their entire life? No, I'd go to the pro down the That's road. What I'm saying, dude, I wish a contestant went. <laughs> we caught him the in single, the morning. <laughs> I wish a contestant went at this one that's single to be like, oh yeah, and how's love life working for you? Yeah. And just flip it on their head. Because I'm like, th- I would watch that. Yeah. <laughs> I'd tune in every week for that. I would tune in for that. But, mate, the um, so there's two parts here. One thing is that uh, an article came out where most of the time these like, – would you call them celebrities? I don't know if I don't it. want to call them yeah, celebrities, I, but I'm sure they'd probably fall under some – they're like C-list, D-list celebrities. Yeah. At be- I'm not, I don't want to give them a lot of credit. Yeah. the um, So usually some Married at First Sight contestants got like 200, 300, 400. Some grew up to like 500,000. Some of the villains on their Instagram. Massive. Some of the most popular contestants only gain like 200,000. And some of the others – 30, 40, 50, which isn't, isn't a lot. Yeah, it isn't a lot. Isn't a lot at all. The one thing I was thinking about the most, though, is one contestant, it came out that one girl's like, oh, I just got my Uber Eats from McDonald's. And it was one of the mass contestants who got dumped. And another person went, oh, my God, I don't know, Joel from Married at First Sight just Uber Eats me my KFC. So this bloke's now doing Uber Eats after the show. My question to you is, yep. are we, re- <laughs> this is such a weird word, to me. are we job shaming here? Because if the bloke's happy, who gives a fuck what he's like doing? a little bit. Because <laughs> I was thinking, I'm like, it is an easy way to think, oh my God, what a fall from grace. You were on TV, you maybe gained 10, what? 20, 30,000 followers on Instagram, and now you're driving around Uber Eats? But isn't it? I feel like the ones that are funny as well are the ones that go on there who think they're interesting and they're just not. Yeah, they're annoying. Like they come on the show and they're like, oh, this is going to be great. I'm going to blow up. And people just don't gel with you at all. <laughs> That's my biggest fear going on a TV show so and just much. finding out yeah, of my I vlog. Feel like I could be completely wrong when I say this, but we, for example, we look at Love Island Season 1 of Australia. Yeah. 
feel like a lot of the contestants that were on that really blew up their socials. It did, didn't it? But then come to Love Island that just happened last year. I don't know whether people just don't overly care now about um, that sort of like entertainment industry as such that people aren't jumping on or maybe like the contestants themselves just aren't boring. Like they're just, sorry, they are boring. So people are just like, I, I don't really like, want to follow them. Like I, they just don't do a lot for me. I, like I'm sorry, but like I don't engage with you that well. Exactly. So let's let's think about it. Every Married at First Sight contestant, we'll go to the female side first and maybe Love Island contestant in Australia. Every single one of them is doing the exact same content. The exact same yeah, content. Yeah, no, pretty spot Some on. gym reels, some photos of them holding up like an Asashi bowl. Oh, and, and maybe them on a dinner date, right? On repeat, yeah, constantly. Or like a music festival. Definitely. They somehow got like VIP tickets yeah. too that they definitely didn't have to pay for. And photos with the cast mates they had yeah, on the show. Their, their friends. It's it's carbon cut and copy. So if you've got all of them, it's not interesting unless you've got the characters who were nothing but drama and you know, well, I'm following you because I know at any moment you could call out yeah, a Yeah, some freedom. ludicrous shit. You could just start some shit. And that's the same. It's like Twitch streamers, right? You go on. To be famous on Twitch, you need to be doing something that's full of drama. Full of, Like you don't know what that person's going to do next. you're advertising OnlyFans. Yeah. Like it seriously much. is though. Like... <laughs> Think about all the Love Island contestants that like we've previously watched that now have an OnlyFans, dude. Nearly everyone. That's what I'm like. <laughs> Nearly everyone. The um, <laughs> so with with all that going on, with that many Instagram accounts that are just cut and copy, it makes sense that people aren't now following them. I just because there wasn't that many back when season one of um yeah no of Love Island was starting. So oh, but Uber Uber Eats driver, what would happen if he's gone off the show? And all he wants to do, maybe as a kid, maybe he wants to play video games. And all he's doing is like, no, no, if I do Uber Eats at night, then I can spend time with my kid. I can go to gym in it's the day. Chill. I'm like, I'm yeah. living a good life. I'm content. But I'm with everyone else. When I saw these dudes like doing Uber Eats, I was like, oh, what a fall from grace. <laughs> it is a bit, but I don't know. Like imagine I, th- I would be more upset, say, if we were still working in like a supermarket. Like you were working at yours. I was working at mine. We were contestants on like Big Brother or something like that. And you come off the show. And it hasn't gone the way that you thought of, like, fuck yeah. Like, I can just be on social media 24-7 now. Yeah. I'm going to have brand deals. I'm going to have people wanting to, like, work with me, collab with me, ask me about my experience. I'm going to do, like, all the dirty ins and outs and all that. You come out, you've maybe gained, like, 20,000. Not really <laughs> enough to sort of, like... Crumbs. Yeah, like, not really enough to, like, put yourself anywhere yeah, yeah. on any radio. Are, or, if, yeah. or if you do, it's, like, those, like, real... It might be, like, a really average radio station yeah. or... <laughs> so like that, like a podcast. It's like it's doing okay, but it's not like a podcast that you really wanted to be on, yeah. sort of thing. And you're actually gonna go back and work in that super and be like, and then just having people be like, "Mate, you were a fucking tosser on this," and you're just like, "Fuck sake!" Oh like, man, see if you if that's you, such if a you fear of mine. The supermarket, and then just people coming in as well and being like, "Why?" Yeah, what are you exactly. on, like you on the TV. Like, what are you doing here? You're just trying to run your produce. You're trying to get things done. You've got a task list, and there's a couple of kids at the very end of the aisle. That you can tell they're zooming yeah. in on their phone trying to take a photo, and then you got some other people like bringing it up, like, "Oh, how was the show? What happened here? Did this really happen?" And then someone who doesn't watch the show. Why is what was he talking to you? about? Yeah. yeah, what was he talking about? So, so many people are just so nosy. Just like, shit, like, <laughs> that I would, I, I well could as, not I get shit like, done. I feel like the other thing as well that would scare me the most, looking like an absolute tool on like TV. That would And be then terrifying. my friends and family, like I come off the show, my friends and family just grilling me, being like, the fuck were you doing? Yeah. Like the whole, and just being like, fuck. Like, yeah. Well, one, one, of the really girls on, one of the girls on Married at First Sight said that she pretty much vowed to her dad she wasn't going to have sex on the show because it's disrespectful. And she had sex on the show. And then straight after she had sex, she the guy pretty much like flogged her off. And she couldn't stop crying about how she's disappointed her dad. And then the whole storyline was about her disappointing her dad. And I'm like, oh, you've just made it 10 times worse. Now, like... And it's on if, TV. Like, if, it's like, like replayed if you, again and again and again. If I had a mate whose daughter did that, I have to message him. I have to be like, well, that's, oh, that's mate, honestly, sorry like, to I hear. think about, like, Love Island and stuff. Like, when the wives... It's like... As a parent, are like that. Like, are you like, this is the, that is the last thing that I want to see. Yeah. Is my, as well as like, then like your, your daughter or your son, like getting their heart ripped apart and just being like, that person's a bitch. Like, 
or How watching dare you? watching them. Yeah, it's or like, watch, yeah, watching them instigate. Like it's all like that. in one of the season ones of Love Island, a guy was like cheating on another girl, and she had no idea. And if you're the parent, you're watching and you're knowing how much of a red flag that fucking person is. And you're like, and now, oh. and now they're on blasts like as well. Like if they go in the general public, it's like, I know what you're about. Mm-hmm. Like you've shown me like who you are on TV. Yeah. Like, it's oh. just too much of a risk. There's a lot of risk that goes involved. Like, it's, it's don't get me wrong. The- like if it pays off, it can pay off. Yeah. Like we've seen that, like that Harry Josie dude on Too Hot to Handle. Oh, like that paid off completely massive for, for him. him. And I don't th- personally, I don't think he's anything special. Yeah, well, I don't think he's too different from some of the other guys that have caused some drama and caused some conflicts. So like, I, he, was, he just really wanted to smash. Yeah. <laughs> like, the whole time, he didn't care about the money for anyone else. He just wanted to smash. But, like, as far as a person, I don't think he's an interesting person. Like, yeah, I think he just kept getting himself in a lot of scenarios where he's with a lot of celebrities you follow. So you're constantly seeing his face. You're like... It's like a, when you go past um, billboards that have like for McDonald's and things like that. And you're not, you're not, you don't want McDonald's, but it's in your head, so yeah. you keep seeing it, and you're just like, "That's Mac true." Macca's, Macca's. I think with him, he was just in so many people's videos. You're like, "Oh, oh yeah, I've seen that." What is what does that guy do? Actually, I'm going to search him up because I keep seeing him on things. <laughs> so, mm. it'd be interesting as well if you're like a male or even a female, and like you're a tradie and you go on those shows. See, I feel like that's one of the very, the more easier careers. If I feel, you I feel like shows. it'd be better if you like came off the show and you had to go back to that. Like, I'd be happier to do that. But I just feel like so often, like they would just hang shit on you like the whole time. Yeah. Well, one of the girls on Married at First Sight, she was way too sexual, way too sexual. Um, was that the mum? Yeah, it was the mum. From being that over the top, she was a hairdresser. And apparently it came out that like uh, people would go past like a hair salon and make like a few comments like, "Oh, I'll shag you if that de- if you're that desperate," like things like that. Yeah, and I'm so like, you "Oh, you're on the ass big time." Yeah. Oh, there's just some habits as well. I think us as people, like you, just don't want that to get out. Mm. Yeah. If, if, well, what, if what, it, what happens with their kids too? Well, that's kids would definitely get bullied in school. Well, that's the thing, and the, they'd be showing the clips. Oh, we had it on repeat dinner. as well. Like, it's, that's what I, I don't know. But like, especially in the day and age that we live in, where like just everyone's got like a mobile phone with a camera and stuff. Like, it's just, yeah, I don't know. It's it's bad. Everyone has a camera. Everything gets recorded. That's the thing. It wasn't like even like when we were like younger. Like, if you think about it, compared to like, if you did something stupid at a party, like yeah, the story might get told. You do something at a stupid, stupid party today, everyone's got their phone out, recording oh, yeah. you. There's no, there's no like, oh no, it didn't happen. Like they're 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 bullshit, and it's like, no, dude, here's a proof. Like I've got, I've got it on video. Like it's been shared around. Like it's it's actually on TikTok from like, and it's like thirty different angles. Yeah. <laughs> As well, like there's no escaping. Like you can't hide. Like, what resolution par- do you want, man? Well, I've like, got fucking ten eighty four K. Our parents' generation. Like, granted, all right, they weren't as technologically advanced as us, but, like, if you did something like that, maybe you regret or, like, whatever, like, at least it's just, like, sort of within, like, that group. <laughs> like, you reckon they feel and that stuff. they're sitting back and they're going, oh, well, dude, they, they, have, they would have to be thinking, like, holy shit, we are so lucky. Yeah, there would have been so many things that they were done that it was, was filmed now. They'd be like, oh, oh, it'd be instant regret and just absolute shame, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Like, and so much shit that, like, they they reckon they got away with that if it was, like, Rolls Royce, it's like, yeah, no, I there's no getting away with some of the shit that I did if there was someone recording me 24-7. Because as a, as a youngster, like, that's what you do when you're in your, like, friendship groups. Yeah. It's always definitely. like, oh, fucking look at him, he's going to do something sick. And, like, you get your, like, get your camera out <laughs> and, like, start recording. I remember that type of stuff, yeah. He's, he's going like to jump yeah. in a puddle oh, and he's it's gonna, <laughs> He's going to sniff Sherman. Don't fuck he's a loose cannon. <laughs> Something yeah. like that, especially with TikTok itself, dude. Because everyone wants that, that like, TikTok fame. Everyone wants that TikTok fame. Like it could be something stupid, like guys wise banana full. But like, it's like, <laughs> oh, look, look at him, he's a fucking gay. Like, look at him, he's throwing banana. Like, There's so thing. much like, fucking potassium in that yeah, shit. Like, what are you doing, Kevin? <laughs> Channel, you free. <laughs> but it's just too much potassium. But how many times have you been on TikTok though, and you're like, what, like? Why is this even uploaded? Slash, like, why the fuck is this blown up? Yeah. Oh, so many times. I've seen so <laughs> like many clips no that are, with a million likes, and it's, they're doing nothing. Like, actually nothing. And I'm like, what? The, how does it get in this algorithm? The other thing that always, like, fucks me up is how, and it's, 
Insta Reels as well. It's like, I don't know why, but if you use this sound, and it's like some of those sounds, like you seriously could just be sitting there twiddling your thumbs, and for whatever reason, that sound, that song, will just give you like fucking 100,000 plus, and you're like, but mm. why? Like, yeah. why? Well, when, later in the... Um I don't know if it'd be next year or when we we've got a we've got a certain amount of subs we're gonna hit for each channel uh social Followers media. Stuff, yeah. I think once that happens we're gonna completely change up like the Monday to Friday, like the how much we upload. I think it, it's gonna come down to like one upload like a week with some things that are so specific to like the hashtags, the trending. Yeah, like really like it's o- almost like studying the algorithm. Literally. Like instead of instead of just like putting our content out there, it's actually like Almost marketing. Yeah. Like, really, in a sense. Yeah, there's a lot of... I'm finding out, like, we're really breaking down, like, all right, this worked, but why did it work? Yeah. Like, finding, like, the back-end stuff. Yeah. And that's... But that's a lot, though. I feel... And I feel like so many people have those secrets now that you have to, like... I feel like the only issue with that, though, is, like, um, not not necessarily, like, a warrior, but, like, it's, like... Is it going to be enjoyable if we have to like sit down and break down like that's why the thing? Did, like, I don't. That like, wouldn't be enjoyable. It, it's more work on top of like it's. It becomes like this is fun. Yeah. But if you're like, hey man, you know that clip the upload on Instagram took off. That's awesome. Got to report back to me why it took off mm. and stuff like that. Because I feel like if like that was to happen, or even like if me and you like we're just catching up and be like, all right, the podcast did really well, but why did it do well? Mm. And, like, and then we're like watching it back. It's like. Oh, did say something yeah. oh, yeah. So we're gonna have to okay, we're gonna have to now talk about married at first sight again for the next few weeks. That's what I mean. Like, like oh, bro, it's just like oh, yeah, it's like no, nah, like it was a one and done sort of thing. I don't want to be talking about it again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I find it funny anyone who um anyone who hates on, and I'm not talking about us specifically. I'm t- I'm talking about like podcasts in general. I find it so weird when people hate on podcasts because. I, I, like I think it was the Nelk Boys even said it, and I don't watch much of the Nelk Boys, but there was one podcast I watched, and they were talking about all the hate they get. Yeah, right. And Cole was just like, "I fucking get it. We're just like boys chat. It's like literally we're just having a chat. And it's like if you want to enjoy it, enjoy it. But we're sitting down. Yeah, no this one's is a com- forcing yeah, you this to is watch a our conversation stuff. that we would have if you were here or if you weren't. So if you're going like cringe, That's like oh, I this is a hard I- watch. It's like. Shut the fuck up, bro. It's like, I want to, I would love to hear your conversation. Yeah, I'm expressing myself and I've just, I have the courage mm. to make it public. Yeah. I'm sharing my views and thoughts with the world. Yeah. Yeah. So many people that talk shit, they just have no idea what they're talking about. Let alone or they would never do it themselves. Or put, them, or put their face online. <laughs> they would never do that. I would love, That's I would the be thing, obsessed. Like when people like attack like your physical appearance, it's like, you're sitting behind a computer screen yeah. without even a proper profile photo of who you are yeah. with no uploads <laughs> and all that. Yet this guy who you're fat shaming or maybe like, you know, has a few pimples on their face, whatever, mm. is putting themselves out there in the public just living their life. Yeah. And they're, they're not looking at it. It's like, oh, I fucking look ugly or I feel shit. To-. Like, they're just like, oh, fuck it. Like, I don't yeah. care. See, I have I, more respect for that person. Oh, definitely. Yeah, you got Curly Kevin or something as their name. No profile picture in there. Like, I don't like the um. Well, the classic upload of like some random duck video. I, I hate the ones of um the acne when people give shit about people for acne because I'm like, bro, they their whole I, life is yeah, like, it's like, they're getting bullied like day to day life about that. Change that, shit. that, and that's such a noticeable one too. Like, especially bad acne. Like, if you watch a pimple popping video where they've got that many pimples that. And fuck, I can't imagine how many people would just want to pop them. Like if they, if that was their face, where it's that many pimples, and some of them are massive. But the thing is, they they literally can't because they come up so often. They have to let them completely go yeah, out. Then it's like the scarring yeah, and stuff like that. I, so. That's such a process to fix your skin to have that on your face. So someone to give and you some shit people about. don't have the money to afford like all these like sort of yeah. things either. I couldn't really care about fat shaming to be honest, because <laughs> to me, I'm just like, well, if someone's really fat, I'm like, that's their body saying, hey, fix me. Like, so I don't really care oh, I about feel the like the fat, fat shaming one, like, that all comes down to, like, the... Like, they might be happy with their weight, though. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's that. different. So, like, yeah, some people, like, don't care. Other people do care and all that. But sometimes, as well, you could flip, like, the whole if you were getting fat shaming comments. Like, fuck, if someone was, like, the guy in the blue hoodie's a bit tubby or whatever, I could just... You can either be offended by it or be like, okay, like, mm. I'll give... I'll use that as, like, a thing to, like, work on myself. Yeah. Yeah, and, it's, all that. and it's actually almost like the more people are like, "Hey, man, I think you need to lose weight." It's actually like, "Yeah, right." But I will, I will say this: the, the, those type of comments, it's not like that person's going to come back in like 
a year time be like, oh, fuck, I, I called this guy Tubby in one video and now he's lost all this weight. Like, that's that was my plan. No, no, those, those no, your people plan are just. To be yeah, those, you <laughs> those people are just hateful. Yeah, like, like you didn't actually think that guy was going to lose weight and now they're like feeling. You've actually made that person feel 10 times better about themselves and it's yeah. like, no, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, exactly. I wanted them to feel shit. I wanted to make them upset. Do you know I what? I don't want you to get into gym and now you're like a PT. Like, do you know what fuck? I thought about? Because I see it on happens for celebrities all the time, especially when they blow up. Um, their high school bully message them yeah. apologizing, saying yeah. how bad they feel. Most no, you of, don't. <laughs> most of the time, right? Most of the time, the celebrity will forgive them. Because they're in such a better spot now. Like, it's just, you know, they're living their life, probably built them up a bit more as a, a, a thicker skin. They're doing well. I really want one of them to be like, I don't forgive you. You've fucked well, with me for a happen? year straight, and you actually really done some damage to my mental health. I don't forgive you, and I hope you do live with that shame. Well, didn't that Good luck. happen with Michael B. Jordan? I swear that happened with him about Creed Three. The TV interviewer uh, yeah. went to interview, and he's, like, and he's like, no, I remember what you did. Yeah. And she's like, no, no, that wasn't me. That was someone else. I was like, no, like, it, it was you. Yeah. And I will call you out about that. I was that like, was good. oh, like, that's so bold. But I love it. I don't think it was, like, deep, deep in it the way of, like, she caused like, him, like, such horrific I think it's something pain, to do with, like, like, he had, like, curly hair. Yeah, she would have been, like. It was like, real petty. But yeah. It's just like, yeah, no, I didn't forget, and I'm not going to forget. Yeah. You, you did what you did. You talk some shit. And I don't care. And now I'm not giving you an interview. Yeah. I rate it so oh, much. I, I love that highly. energy. Yeah, I rate I rated that very fucking highly. Good on him. Super highly. Oh. Yeah, but sending those messages, you wonder, did you really feel bad or is it because they're now famous? Yeah. It'd have to be because I feel famous, dude. But a lot of kids I think I did I think I had a couple of things I did in primary school that I wasn't too happy about. Oh, not really not, not done. I don't think I don't mm, no, not high school. I definitely didn't do anything high school. I regret doing. I think to I maybe someone. made. A, I feel like I definitely made a comment or something like that where I definitely shouldn't have. I like over the step the line, but it, I, me being me, it would have just been like in anger and frustration. Mm. Like the only thing that I could think of was going to like that dark. Yeah. So that's what, but so, instantly, it's like as soon as I said that, I was like, "Why did I do that?" Because I, I think the only bad like, one I, I felt have done that. a bit bad about was there was one kid that I was friends with, and then we just we butted heads and then maybe I excluded him a little bit. Yeah. Like if he wanted to get involved, I was like, no, I fucking don't like this kid. Like I don't want you involved. And obviously when you're fucking what, 10, you don't think too much of yeah. it. But now I look back and I'm like, oh, fuck it. Pretty like, petty. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just like, fuck. And, and if I, if I had a kid, I'd be like, no, no, include that fucking yeah. kid. It's well, so, it's so important. I reckon at a young age. Yeah. But I'm not, I'm not going to go over a primary school thing and be like, fuck, sorry if I was, I was a bit of a cunt. Cause when you're that age, fuck, you do all types of And like we've said before shit. as well, like, as you mature, you can reflect and well, be like, well, that's the I thing. Did th- I think yeah. so many people start reflecting when it's a, when they get out of high school and especially when they have kids, especially if you're, well, when they have bullied. kids, yeah, yeah it's ex- definitely. It, it's, well, I think the perfect example of um, that, like you, is, was the movie Benchwarmers. Mm. Where the, like the guy like is in like the little league and, Turns out, like, this guy who's, like, oh, he's so brave and, like, great. It's, like, he was actually the bully. He bullied, like, all these guys. But now he's got a kid and he's just, like, and then he's worrying because it's, like, fuck, like, I know what I did yeah. to people. I would hate for that to happen to my child. Yeah, exactly. And, like, it's, like, a flick of a switch. It's, like, a realisation, like, a light bulb moment where it's just, like, oh, no. Like, so much damage. I was cruel to so many people. Yeah. I, I know that affected them. Especially the ones that. Their kids come home like full on, because I think I did it a couple of times, and I'm a brother did it a couple of times where you cut that you come home because you've been picked on and you're just crying, like you think the world's ending because you're what like well, 12, it feels 13, like everyone's 40. against you, yeah, and especially if you're getting ganged up on, and yeah. then you think like you're scared or whatever it may be. So if you then did that as a kid, and then you have a kid that's coming home, that'll tear your fucking heart out. So maybe that's where some of the messages come from, where it's like, hey. I know I did this in high school. I'm so fucking sorry. I just, I would like to, it's hard though, because I suppose not everyone is, but I would like to think like who I was in primary school and high school is completely different to who I am today. Mm. So if there was anything that I've done or like upset it, like I would like to think that you could like learn to forgive. But 
in saying that as well, I can also completely understand if like someone went way too far and you're like, no, I'm not going to forgive you. Like, forgive yeah. you. Like, you, you fucked me up. Like, Yeah, there was a guy who was on like a Joe Rogan's podcast. It was the saddest thing ever. He told a story um, how he liked this girl. He got invited to her party and it, it, they made him believe. It, I'm going to butcher it, but along the lines of they made him believe it was a dress up party. He spent like three days. On, like, full his on costume, his like, costume, outfit. like making Fuck. the costume, getting it ready, like excited that he was actually getting included. And they showed up at the party and they all just laughed at him completely. Like, yeah, we're just like, him why the was. fuck would you think we invited you? Like See, the girl. That's shit. Yeah. Like, but that, that's like, that's like brutal. And the thought like that, that there wouldn't, there can't be anything more sadder for me than the thought of like a kid alone that's excluded, feeling included and doing all these things to fit to, in. To fit in and get excited. And then when he believes that, he then gets it all taken away from him. You know the worst part is, right, though? How many people have sat... Like, it's not just... Like, that in general sucks, but it's also that got, like, the effect that it does after that. Yeah, exactly. Like, how many people, like, might not have the mentality to be strong and be like, all right, well, that's shit, and mm-hmm. all that. Like, how many people would seriously have committed suicide because of stuff like that. Oh, bro, that one, and then how do you live with, like, if you're the person that's, like, how the fuck do you get on to day-to-day life knowing that, like, fuck, the reason, like, they took that leap, they made that jump, like, whatever. Mm. They put, like, I was I was the one that pushed them to the edge. There was a, there, it like, was, that's it fucking terrible. Simple, but it could be something simple too. There was a, t- uh, a Twitch clip I saw once where this kid was um, at college and he was by himself and he was just trying to have a good time. So he just put up a phone at a table and was filming himself drinking and he was just like kind of talking to the his, his, phone, his, str- like his, his stream his stream but from the yeah. outside it looks like he's talking to himself and then three like girls walked past and they just made a comment and like laughed and he just like looked at them like looked back down at his phone and like realised he was like alone and like tried to drink his drink but was obviously you could see in his eyes Invisible, he like- just wanted to cry but he was holding it back and I'm like fuck man Fuck that poor fucking dude. Minding his own business, doing his yeah. own thing, not not causing any harm. Yep. Anything like that, like just minding his own business. Mm. It's fucking rough for some people out there, man. Fucking rough. It ass. is too, and you never know what someone's going through either. You, Which, you unfortunately, don't. as a kid, you don't know that. It's yeah. something that doesn't really click with you until you're a bit older. That's like, fuck, like. Just because I have a good home life and, you know, a roof over my head doesn't mean that, like, fucking Sandy. Mm. You really don't. Because like, I, knew, I knew a girl once She um, that I was close with, and she was older, and she would have trouble sleeping all the time. And I only found out the other week, and she's like, oh, I didn't tell you about the, the story, did I, the way I got held up. And I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, oh, well, part of the reason I'm scared of, like, the dark and, like, I, I couldn't sleep for so long is because I worked at a service station. Two guys broke in and punched me in the head, stabbed me in the back and made me get out all the cash and held me at knife point for an hour. And then when she rung, you'll never get believe this, she rung the siren alarm right, to call the cops. Cops showed up and the cops went to the front of the servo, like thinking normal 7-Eleven servo or something along those lines. And they're like, oi. And the girls at the counter, the two guys who are obviously like, have her at knife point, but have got the knife behind her back, so it looks like it's just normal. Yeah, they're like, who rang? Who? Which one of you rang the siren alarm? Oh, you're kidding! Nah, and then she, she's like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. And he's like, well, one of you's rung the siren alarm right there. And the guy's like, no, nah, it wasn't us. And the guy, the guy when he was holding, it, I was like, don't fucking ring the siren alarm. Don't do anything. But she did it anyway. And he's like, and. The bloke that has a and a knife in Why her would back. Why the cop not just enter the fucking? Exactly, the guy that has a knife in her back, and he's like to the cops, "Oh, look! If I'm honest, we had a bit of a lovers' dispute, and we've taken it out here." And he's like, "Oh, well, can you keep your shit at home? This is the cop. Make sure you seal out your shit at home. Don't waste our time." And the cops left. So he stabbed her again. So don't fucking ever do that again. And he held her up, and then he. They started taking customers where he would get her to take money from customers who were filling up the fuel and to give it to him. They were pretty stupid, but they obviously had. And then finally, there was enough like triple zero calls with um, customers coming in and customers being like, 
this girl has a bruise on her face. She looks like she's about to cry. And there's a weird guy that's standing next to her. I think she's being fucking held up. You need to get in there now. And then like seven cop cars showed up. and That's fucking ridiculous. And then it got to a point where the cops were like standing in front. It's like, is there a problem? And he's like, no, no, it's no problem. Like, All right, well, we think there's a problem. Like this on the second visit. And when there was finally a little bit of separation where he didn't have the knife in her back, she goes, help me. And the cop finally got it. Oh, that's fucking pathetic. Yeah, no, fucking Surely like that. that cop has to lose their job. No, they got awarded. Awarded? Awarded for their bravery. You're fucking taking the piss. I'm fucking serious. That's fucked. Yeah, so that's what I mean. There's so many incidents like that where it's fucked. That's like, so like fucked. Like what you said, you don't know someone's backstory because I, I just thought she she just was, she had terrible night's sleep. Um I forget what the word for it, nacriac. Oh, fuck, I don't know the word. But someone who really struggles, you know. But yeah, part of it is because of trauma. And I'm like, oh. well, that makes fucking sense. You know, yeah, exactly. You but never know crazy what other people though, are like, I, I feel like it wasn't until we went out clubbing where you like start talking to people and you're like, fuck. Like, you hear about like some of these stories, like your s- movies are based on and stuff. But you're like, it's like I've never actually known someone to like deal with that shit. And then when you Definitely. do, it's just like, holy fuck, like. Yeah. That's actually fucking insane. Well, bro, you hear about people who, like, like, for example, our girlfriends. If I found out my girlfriend got punched in the face by another male, I would not know how to act. Like, I, yeah, I would you? I would not know how to act. Or if they tried to, like, sexually grope her, if, or any family member, especially on the female side, if anything bad happened to them, mm. how do you act? You wouldn't know. And it's the same with like, um, yeah, parents who maybe like I knew someone who their their son died. And you, you sit back and you're like, how the fuck do you even deal with that? How, this isn't like a, oh, I'm going to take a couple of days off work. This is full on. You yeah, need like, like, they're like a one lot of time. Like, like, oh, I've, like, yeah. And you often say like it can often like ruin like the marriage or like relationship. Or, or, like, like partners like, yeah, split up. Yeah, because like, I just can't do it anymore. Yep, I saw a video of a uh, like a parent like makes their room like a shrine of like remembrance. It's like yeah, but you can't like you gotta like move on as well. Yeah, there was a a video I saw the other day actually, and it was a father who spoke about um his son died in a car crash, and I think he was in the car with him. So seeing that's horrific oh. as it is, and then like three months later, his other son took his own life, and he found he he found his son. And, like, oh. when he talks about it, he can't stop crying. And this is, like, 10, oh, 15 no. years later. It, you can't you can't get over that. No way. There's only ways that you can maybe help the process. Fuck, well, man. Some that, people how, go through it. Some people get so damaged to the point it's like, what? what's the point of life? I, I always have the stories that you hear um, where it's like the father might be in, like, the CFA or whatever and there's been a car accident and they show up on the sand and it's like, that's my that, you child's know, yeah, car. Yeah, you know them. And like instantly it's just like, oh, What's fuck. happened? Yeah. Well, what with all like, the fuck? No, I can't even like imagine, like fuck Well, me. it's like all the um, school shootings going on in America and then parents will rock up because they'll hear it on the news or they're hearing the radio and they're like, oh my, that is my fucking kid's school. Go there and the cops are holding them back from entering in the school. Yeah, it's, it's in like, multiple videos. Like, it's like, Mate, if they want to risk their life for their kid, fucking let them in. If you're not doing anything, yeah. let them the fuck in. 149 mass shootings in the US now. 140 fucking nine, dude. This year? This year. <laughs> we're, we're not even halfway through. We're a quarter. Like, it's March, dude. Three months into the year. 149 mass shootings. Well, I saw and you're was, still telling me that guns aren't a problem. I saw there was a child that was transgender that murdered six the other day. That's what, like... T- the transgender has like, nothing to do with no, it. Like, no, no, obviously but, not. But like, like they that, had was, that, that was the news article. Anyways, but yeah. like, because they're transgender, that's a headline right there. Yeah, exactly. But it's just like, dude, like, I'm... That's so scary. It's fucked, man. Yeah. School's meant to be a safe place I've for ne- children. I, I never went to school worrying about my That was safety. never a I worried thought, about maybe, maybe a bully here and there, yeah, but, but, but it was like, like a bruise, I'm not, not a... I'm not going to fucking have to get like thrown shank. under a table. Yeah. Oh, and you even see those clips... Um, I remember seeing a shooter once where the kids were all under the tables and a cop, he pretend, the shooter pretended to be a cop and he's like, open the door. And they're like, no, 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 we're not, we're not without 
a verification when I opened the door, which is what they're trained to do. They're like, no, no. And one kid went to go up to open the door and all the kids went, like Shane or something, Shane, sit the fuck down. Sit the fuck down. Sit the fuck down. And he finally sits down. Mean that? Oh, and and the, the shooter then goes, bro, just open the door. Like, And that's a cop. And then every kid in the class went, the cop just sent, bro, it's a shooter. It's a shooter. And they all freak out. So can you, oh, I, I was like, smart kids, yeah, smart kids. One, fuck. but one, one dumb kid nearly yeah, fucking one, like, gullible sort of. Yeah, thing. it's just fu- like no kid should ever have to go to school worrying today could be my last day at school. Yeah, that is fucked. That is actually fucked. Mm. Like, uh, I think, and then you hear the stories as well. How it's like, yeah, I'm a survivor of like say like Sandy Hook. Mm. But I watched two of my classmates in front of me get fucking killed. Mm. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, that's too much. Oh, that's so many shootings. Man, I I would seriously. How is the problem not guns? I saw. I did see a I news would, clip where um the cop was like, "This so for the recent shooting that like, I think it was three children, three adults." Um, he goes, "Now this child did purchase." five of the assault rifles in five different uh, gun stores. I'm like, how? If I want, if I want like some harder cold and flu medicine from the chemist, I have to give them my fucking ID. But this, <laughs> but you can but go dude, and buy. Thing, though, right? So in, in the US, how the fuck, riddle me this, there's more people dying from gun violence than fucking driving. And in the US, you can drive a car at the age of 16. That's fucked. At the age of 16, I was immature as fuck. Yeah. Like, yeah. it just doesn't... I'm, I don't know. It's just fire. It's fire. And I don't see anything changing. I don't I see do. anything changing Not until, at all. like, our generation or, like, the generation below us. Yeah. I think Canada... See, Canada banned, banned handguns or the purchasing of guns to... Like, they, they saw a mass shooting in America and they did something. It's like, it's not what? Mean. Like, it doesn't make any fucking sense. If they're, if, and yet, still, somehow, the argument is the guns aren't the problem. It's if, a bit behind the gun. If that shooting happened in Oz, that is, that is going to be like a new, uh, uh, like a national, it might, it might create a public holiday for that day, like in, remem- in remembrance or something yeah. along those lines. It'll be a massive event because it just doesn't fucking It'd be happen. Massive, dude, slash like the. If guns were still like allowed in Australia, I feel like it all, all it would take is something like that to be like, yeah, every state like it's it's illegal to own a gun, mm. or like the punishment of like having like unless it's concealed and just used for specifically hunting, yeah, is fucking through the roof. Well, I didn't know UK have a ridiculous amount. They don't have mass shootings. Oh, it's the stabbing, it's the stabbings, knives. yeah, and like the gang stuff, yeah. I didn't know it was that bad over there. It's pretty fucked. I don't. I don't think it's that bad here. I think it's pretty. I think it is. I don't think it's that bad here. Like, it still obviously happens, but it's not. I feel like a lot of like the Australian crime, and I could be wrong because obviously I'm just not looking in that general direction. Is more just getting like jumped. Mm. Yeah, we like to throw you hands do, over here. Do, if there's you, a problem in a pub, we're throwing hands. We're not you stabbing. You do hear the occasional, and oh, granted, I see it a lot more now on Facebook. How it's like someone's been fatally shot, or there was a shooting in like Dandenong. Yeah. yeah, for example, like you'll see with, like the article every now and then, but a lot of the time it's just like twenty year old had a car crash. Mm-hmm. Thirty year old was in a car crash, and it's just like, are we is Channel Seven seriously reporting every single car crash that's happening on Facebook? Like, surely there's like some other shit that you could report. Yeah. Well, we should, wouldn't the <coughs> wouldn't the easy fix though, like say if it's say if we had a stabbing problem, wouldn't the easy fix be like, hey, just letting you know, if you get caught with a knife out in the city, it's straight up non negotiable, two years prison, no, well, non negotiable. Because what? Why? Why on earth would you take a knife to the city? Well, unless you're a chef. <laughs> no, 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 because it's funny. I know that you're laughing, right? But it's funny because I swear now, and I know for a fact when I worked in a supermarket, you have to be over the age of 18 to buy a set of, like, kitchen knives. Mm. And I, like, we couldn't actually serve yeah, for anyone but, under But age. a chef's not carrying around his... No, no, you. like, obviously it's, like, in his, like, bag and stuff like that. Yeah, like, yeah. Sealed. <laughs> yeah, like, obvi- yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah, no, but, like, um, 
Because I know, yeah, for, for, I know a good friend of mine, like, he was a chef, and whenever he travelled, like, he would always have to be like, yeah, I'm a chef, like, this is where I work, this is what they're, like, they're used for, and stuff like that. Yeah. Sort of thing, so. Well, see, that, I feel like that's a very easy workaround. It but would be. It wouldn't, like, even if you were in a game with people and someone's like, oh, I'm carrying a knife out tonight, I'd be like, well, don't fucking come near me because you get two years, yeah. and if I'm around you, I might get three months or yeah. something along those lines. I can't. I can't. I cannot see one reason why you would have to. Well, a good reason to carry a knife out in a nightclub, like in at the nightlife. So oh. it's just fucked. Yeah, it is fucked. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that was Morocco with two eyes. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next one. Boom. Boom.